my name is Anoriel and welcome to my channel. Here we do reactions, both on PL and GL content and most information countries. But today we are doing a coffee with Anoriel video because I felt like it was time. I usually did this once a month before, but I don't know. I don't know how much fun it was to hear about YouTube statistics and um, what we watched and what we didn't watch and yeah I don't know so now I do them when I feel like it when I feel like I have something to tell you guys um like now so tomorrow it's Friday and it's the last day I work until I go on summer vacation if you don't know I'm Swedish in Sweden we by law kind of have to take summer vacation I think you can kind of say no I don't want to but in general, you kind of have to take it. You get 25 days in the law um, and you can only save five until the next year. So you kind of have to take 20 days during the year. And by law, during the summer, if you work full time, your employer has to provide that you can take four weeks in a row somewhere between June, July, and August. So, yeah. But then it's up to you if you want to take four weeks. But they have to offer you the possibility to do that. So my company actually gave me 30 days uh, of vacation time, paid vacation time. So I'm going to take four weeks during the summer and then I'm going to save a few days uh, for Christmas and other stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going on vacation, which means I got more time to film, theoretically, but then it's also vacation, so I should have vacation, so I should have fun with my family, which I have a few things planned, so we will see. But theoretically, I can have a few days where I just sit and record, which means I'm going to have stuff to put out now um if you don't know i have a patreon like most of the reactors i have a patreon and my idea is that most of the things the ones that you know are gmmtv things that you need permission to have uh, to publish on youtube and uh, reacting things that are you need to high you, you need to cut half of the episode or whatever for YouTube um I will put them on a patreon as soon as I edit but on YouTube what I will do is release one episode kind of each day so if I bulk record a lot during the summer it is probably gonna be you know, be more than one episode a day. So I will still spread them out and have one episode a day published on YouTube. But I will publish everything on Patreon as it is edited, which means you get preview, pre-access on almost everything that is going up on YouTube if you are a Patreon member. Uh, most of the things will in some shape or form come to YouTube at a later date. Well, not the Patreon exclusives like the Japanese and Korean shows, because if you put them on YouTube, you get copy strikes. I mean, you can edit like, um, but it's, it's sometimes you get copy strikes for an image sometimes. So I don't, I don't even bother with Korean and Japanese shows if it's not Strongberry, because Strongberry actually released official guidelines and I'm sticking to them because uh, I don't want to make them upset when they were nice um, and actually gave us official guidelines to all their series. So those are kind of the only Korean TV series that you will see me put on YouTube. If you are interested in me watching Korean and Japanese shows, I'll, I'll watch a lot of Japanese BLs, you have to join my Patreon. And if you want like pre-access to stuff that will come to YouTube, 
you could join my Patreon and the link is down below. Now I try to keep it pretty cheap to get access to all my videos. If you want voting power and stuff like that, you have to go up a level. But the cheapest level still gives you access to all of the things, like all of the videos. I don't have like, you know, a week after you get access. No, I don't bother. It's, it's hard enough to try and figure out, you know, to publish it on Patreon and then publish it on YouTube. I, the whole publish it that day uh, for this tier and that date for this tier. Maybe in the future, if I start doing this full time, maybe. But, you know, I got like 13 Patreons. I love you guys. I love you guys. But it's not like I can live on you. <laughs> I still have my lawyer salary instead that I live on. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's probably how I'm gonna manage this YouTube channel going forward. Be so I don't go a month without posting anything. That's my hope, at least, that I will have so much bulk after this vacation that you will never notice when I kind of have to disappear because of either work or health reasons. Because there will still be episodes coming. The ones who will might notice is Patreon because they will get like 10 things and then they won't get stuff for two weeks and then they will get like 20 things and then they won't get things for two weeks and then, you know, because that's just, that's how my life is going to, that's how I'm going to fit this in my life, I realized. After a lot of thinking and a lot of tinkering and a lot of back and forth. Um, so I will probably not, you know, watch a lot of stuff as it is released. Like the latest of the latest on YouTube. Some of it I might still watch and put on Patreon, but on YouTube... There might be two, two weeks delays uh, from an episode being released until you see my reaction to it. Will this make me grow slower? Of course it will, because if you put up stuff an hour after the episode was released, everybody's searching for reactions and, you know. But <laughs> it's the whole... Do I do this in a way that fits my life or do I do it in a way that gains me more followers? And since YouTube doesn't pay because everything is copyrighted, it's not like I can do this full time. I still have a full time job. I still have other interests. I read, I paint, I, uh, I kind of want to start a different YouTube channel as well, just talking about hair care because I got a lot of questions about the, these things apparently people tell me I have Instagram worthy hair I don't know I feel like it's a mess it's just very very long and that's big basically because I haven't cut it in like four years that's my hair care tip for you Stop cutting your hair. It will grow, most likely. And eat a good diet. <laughs> Make sure you don't have any deficits <laughs> in your diet and that you get all your vitamins. There you go. I don't know why I should start a YouTube channel about that, but you know. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, because part of me kind of want to live on content creations. It, it what makes me happy, but I also realize it's tough work. It's not, it's not easy to, to get into that lane. And I'm kind of 10 years behind because fear, fear of putting myself out on the internet and thinking I had something to contribute because seriously, I'm not that interesting. But apparently this has, you know, I kind of, I, I don't know if I still feel that I, I am that interesting. And I'm not very good at faking. 
and a lot of influencers or content creators they fake a lot like let's let's be real they fake a lot um I, I, yeah, we're gonna live with the whole white dots. I don't know. It's my camera. I need a better camera. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, you, you just gonna have to live with it because I'm too lazy to fix it now. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like this channel at least have given me some kind of, you know, maybe, maybe people care. Maybe I'm more interesting than I thought. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what life, what other crazy ideas I get. It, it took me like 10 years to start this channel. So yeah, who knows? Who knows? And time and creating stuff takes time. Doing stuff good takes time. And even if reacting videos is kind of the most laid back thing you can do, it still takes time. You still have to watch the episode. You still have to edit. You still have to upload. You know, I, I do zero marketing on my videos. Like I hardly post on Twitter that I released a video anymore. I did that for some times, but I realized like 40 people saw my <laughs> tweets and I felt like, I don't know, if I didn't tweet anything else, no one was going to follow me. And I'm, I, I just, I'm not that interesting. I don't have anything to tweet about. Like, I do two things or three or four. Okay, five. I work. I read. I paint or color. And, um... I shop extremely expensive clothing on in the internet because apparently I'm one of those people. Oh yeah, and I take care of my small garden that I have on my balcony. I don't know. I, I guess I could make content about that, but I don't know. Doesn't feel like that new or innovative or, you know. So anyway, yeah, um, but that's the plan for the summer. Watch a lot of stuff. I have some ideas what I'm going to watch, like the warp effect, maybe. I heard good and bad things about it, but I feel like it could be one of those pieces where we I have a lot of opinions <laughs> and where I have a lot of things to talk about because... I found out, you know, that I was that channel. Oh, it's about sex. It's about BDSM. It's about... Let's go to an Oriel. She has a lot of opinions about that. So, you know, I, I've... The amount of people when Warp Effect was actually airing that said, An Oriel, An Oriel, are you watching? Are you watching? What is your opinion? Why don't you react to this? What, what, what is happening? I never got so many requests for a series and people pinging me and adding me to it on Twitter and stuff and asking if I saw it on any other series. Like, it was insane. So I feel like I kind of have to watch it because a lot of people really wanted my opinions on a lot about it. But I also heard that the story kind of, you know, it's a game MTV show. It drops after a few episodes. Like, it's good. It has a lot of valid points. But I, I heard that the story kind of gets lost in all of the valid points after a while. The main story, that is. But it, it could still be enjoyable, I guess. And I don't know. I mean, that's just what I heard. I feel like I have to kind of watch it and make my own opinion about it. So... I think that is one that we're watching. I kind of want to watch A Boss on a Babe because I kind of want to watch Our Sky too, and I kind of want to watch all of it. I know it. I don't have to. I know I can just watch the things that I've seen and react to that. And I know a few of them were eh, and a few of them were brilliant. So I don't. Yeah. I want to start watching Hidden Agenda because I like the two actors. 
Mame's doing a new show and I know that's going to be controversial. Are reactors watching it? Are they not watching it? Because Mame's, you know, it, yeah. It's a whole topic and I don't still don't know what I feel about it. And I don't want to get cancelled, so I'm just going to... But I'm probably going to watch it because I kind of semi-enjoy her stuff. Some of it's good. Some of it's bad, some of it's problematic, some of it's really good. You know, we watch a lot of stuff here and not everything is 100% unproblematic. We know this. We all know it. And yeah, we still watch it. And as I always say, if I can't be just... If I'm going to stop watching everything that is semi-problematic... Semi I don't have a lot of stuff to watch. So if that is my issue with mama stuff, you know, it's going to be pet meat kettle kind of a deal. I do you do and then you do it all or you don't and then you don't on all of it. You know, that's kind of my feeling. So I choose to do and then we talk about it instead. So I'm probably going to watch it, but as I said, probably not going to be real time on YouTube, maybe on Patreon. And that's not just, you know, to forcing you to start my Patreon and be a member there. Everything that's, most things that are is on my Patreon ends up on my YouTube if it is possible for free. And that's going to continue. I'm just saying that that's... If you go to my Patreon right now, you will see that I have a lot of episodes of Be My Favorite that I watched and react to that is not on YouTube yet because I kind of want to watch The Rain Show and then Be My Favorite and then The Rain Show and Be My Favorite. I kind of want to re release, you know... So I have two or three series ongoing on my YouTube channel that we release doot, 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 doot. You, you know what I mean in sequence is that what you say I don't know English English is hard it's not my first language I know people think that sometimes because apparently sometimes I get extremely nasal and I sound like a New Yorker I heard um so I know a lot of people sometimes think that English is my first language, but then we get to these situations when I try to explain, you know, I want to watch two or three series in sequence and release one episode on Monday, one on Thursday and one on Wednesday for each of the series. And then the thing that we released on Monday is going to be released on Thursday, that type of a deal. And I don't know what word I should use to explain that. So yeah, no, English is not my first language. But we get by anyway, right? I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's the plan. That's the summer plan. I'm going to enjoy vacation. I'm going to take a few photos for some kind of Instagram, I think, with all the expensive cottage core sustainable clothing I have bought that's on its way so that's my plan for summer and hang out with family going to an amusement park visiting relatives maybe even go to the sea because I don't know how far that is from here and it's the Baltic Sea which is not the real sea <laughs> and now every Swede is gonna hate me because they're like what do you mean the Baltic Sea is the real sea? And I'm like, well, in Swedish it's called Hö. And Hö is the word for lake. So no, it's not a real sea in my eyes. Because it's not salty. Did I mention I grew up on the West Coast? <laughs> yeah. So it's a whole fight thing in Sweden because the two biggest cities one is on the east coast and one is on the west coast Stockholm 
Gothenburg, and it's a big fight thing. And it's it's made with humor, and it's a whole. It's very culture. So if you're not Swedish, you don't understand anything of what I'm talking about right now. But you know, I'm guessing it's kind of like the U.S. East Coast, West Coast thing as well, maybe. But here is about, you know, is the Baltic Sea a real sea or is it a lake? Because in Swedish, we call it Östersjö, which means East Lake. Not sea. Mm -mm. Lake. It's a lake. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I might go to the sea. My, I don't know, bade. That was a few years ago because my skin got so messed up with me being sick but it's surprisingly better even though one of my meds is out in the entire Sweden Europe hopefully it's gonna be back in August until then we're just gonna we're just gonna have to accept that my hair is gonna get more frizzy and I'm gonna get tired and brain fart a lot more that's gonna be fun for you guys right i don't know yeah i guess that was all i was gonna talk to you about uh we finished a few series since last time i don't know look at the playlist things i didn't actually go and watch how much it was but yeah main point is I'm going to try and record a lot of stuff on YouTube. They will release slowly on Patreon. They will release in bulk. Um, I'm going to treat Patreon a little bit more like, you know, not, not that you're not going to get new content, but you might not get new content every week because I have like 800 videos on my Patreon by now. And yeah, it's a video library. You sign up for the library as well. And not just the newest thing. Because a lot of old stuff is also content. Like I shouldn't be feel bad that you kind of pay for that and feel the whole need of creating new stuff to make you happy. Also, because it's it's a video library. You pay to get access to the video library. Um, so, yeah. And I'm going to have vacation for four weeks and live life. Maybe get a bit of sun. Maybe not. Who knows? And um, that's about it. Um, I will talk to you next time. Bye.